This is Letters from Japan. Today I'm having sake. Sake is widely known as Japan's national drink. It is believed that Japan has been making sake in one form or another for over 2,000 years. Now, technically, sake just means alcohol, so any kind of beer, wine, or liquor would be considered sake. What most people mean as Japanese rice wine is actually called Nihonshu. And although it's referred to as rice wine, it'd probably be more accurate to say rice beer because wine is made from fermenting fruit, while beer is made from fermenting grains. Nihonshu can be divided into two primary types pure rice, referred to as junmai, or non pure rice. To say that Nihonshu is pure rice just means that it has been brewed using only rice, water, yeast, and koji. Beyond this, there are several other factors that distinguish different varieties, such as the type of rice used or the brewing process. Another factor is the amount of polishing that the rice has undergone. In most varieties, only about 10 or 30% of the rice is polished away. However, with Daikin Josake, more than 50% has been polished down, making it one of the most premium varieties to be found. Now, most sake is clear, but there is also a white and cloudy variety called Nigori which appropriately means cloudy. The cloudiness is unfiltered residue from the rice. This results in a very sweet, mild flavor, much like a dessert wine. Now, most of the time, Nihonshu is best served cold, but sometimes it's served warm, especially during winter. Heating masks its flavor, so as a general rule of thumb, high-grade Nihonshu should not be warmed. When you warm sake, you need to warm it indirectly through a separate container, like when melting chocolate. Just make sure that you don't warm it too quickly and don't allow it to get too hot. Mm -hmm.